Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Quest to 3000 Part 4. Recently, I lost a lot of rating. As you can see, I had a, I was playing a bit on chess.com and I lost even more rating, so we're down to 2709. This, this type of, you know, up and down type trajectory, this is going to happen. This is just a normal part of the, the journey. It's a normal part of the journey. It's a normal part of life. On the whole, I think there's definitely going to be an uptrend towards 3,000, but this is a real grind, guys. And not to mention that my openings are still a bit in flux. I'm halfway done with this book on the Taimanov, but that doesn't even cover the anti-Sicilians. So, yeah, everything is in flux at the moment. Hopefully I can gain some rating, though. Let's see what can happen. Alright, we're going with the bird. The bird is the word. Yeah, the one nice thing about this is that I've been getting fantastic positions with the bird. My black openings have suffered quite a bit. White openings have been doing great, though. Let me try queen b3. I'm always a little worried when the bishop comes here about them taking, taking, and then trying to snatch that pawn there. Perhaps I should analyze that after. Yeah, there's some construction in my building. Excuse me. Excuses and apologies. Yeah, I f I'm finding that the bird is really giving me... The bird is giving me a tremendous score. Because, um... Yeah, I'm just always ahead in time. I always know these positions much better. Why didn't I take this pawn here? If I... Oh, what? That was ridiculous. I could have just taken the pawn. Alright, we'll play e4. I'll get a nice center. Queen d3. Nice center is approaching. Bishop coming to e3. I could even put my king on e2. Center is completely stable here. I'm hoping that sooner or later the construction ends. It would be really nice. It seems like they, they literally waited until I started recording to start doing it. Let me castle queenside. Put my king on b1. Rook is going to be safe. I can play for g4 sooner or later. Yeah, the knight is completely useless here. That is a straight doo-doo piece. Okay, we're going for it. Look at this. We got the four-pawn armada, baby. Oh, he could play c5. A c5, I play g5. I think that's that's looking good for me. I'll take that any day of the week. C5, G5. This knight is getting pushed. I could also even play E5. Alright, let's play G5. Um, Alright, he wants. He obviously wants to play C5 here. Half of me wants to play B4 just for the giggles. Um, but he could also try E5, actually. My queen is really misplaced here. Being on this open file, but... I really don't know what the answer is. Let me just play H4. If he plays E5, I'll play Bishop G4. I could play e5 as well. e5 would make a lot of sense, honestly. Alright, now, yeah. As we expected, bishop g4. He takes, I take with the bishop, and his knight is pinned. That is a pin to win. Alright, we got a trade. He's going for, he's eyeing something. I think I play, well, if I play e5, he plays knight f6 and his knight gets out. Let me just play queen e3. His knight is completely dominated here. Knight c4. Knight c4 is a very sneaky move. But knight c4, okay, I play queen f2. Nothing that I, I don't think I can deal with. Queen b6, I always can take. Alright, I have e5, I have h5, I have a lot of ideas. I think e5 is best. Knight e4 to f6 is becoming a really big threat. And this knight is still a very loose piece here. Queen a5. He's going for it. I don't really think he has anything, though. Let me... If I play king b1, the knight gets out of the way. Okay, I'll take. I don't think he has anything here. No, I play queen... Oh, queen d4, he has something. I play queen c2. Queen c2, knight e3. Let's start by throwing in a check. Just to make sure I'm I'm all safe. Safe and sound. Um, now queen c2. 
this is a very dangerous position, honestly. Like, I'll play queen d4 here. My, I, my issue with this before was queen takes, rook takes, queen takes, and then he mates. But here, he doesn't seem to have anything. Queen a4, I can just play... Wait, queen a4, king b1, b3. That is a problem. I don't think he has mate, though. Oh, no, he does. Oh, wow, he does. b3 is a huge problem. B3 is an enormous... I think I have to sack my queen. This is terrible. This is very, very sad. <laughs> this is a sad day for the channel. I had a great position, but I uh, I just... I, I didn't appreciate how strong a threat this was. Queen A2. Alright, I'll play... Yeah, this is... This is getting really, really uncomfortable. I gotta just flag him at this point. I'm, I'm completely lost, but I'm just gonna go for the flag. Raise the flag. Raise the flag, boys. I'm gonna try to run around this way. If I could run around... Well, no, if I run around, I, I drop more pieces. Ah, he takes. Okay, I'll play h5 here. I'm gonna run my king around. I'm running my king all the way around. What is the plan here? Queen e3? Um, queen e3, okay. This is very, very tricky stuff. He can check. I don't think he has mate. <laughs> Unbelievably, he doesn't have mate yet. I won! <laughs> oh, that's a game for the ages. <laughs> that's a terrible... <laughs> that is such a painful way to win for him. It's a painful way to lose. It's a great way for me to win. <laughs> oh, that... Okay, I mean, at the beginning I was, of course, completely winning, and then I blundered. All right. Can't be anything wrong with that. Great way to start off. I'm feeling good now. Okay, we got this guy again. What is this flag? Is this Tr Trinidad? I was going to say, it looks um, looks like it's from the Caribbean. What a great game to start off. Alright, he doesn't want to play, apparently. The man's been outbirded. The man has been outbirded, and I'm just going to abort. I don't want to wait. Give me Nigel Short again. Alright, we're playing GP9 is back. Not sure what that means. Got a Dutch. Yeah, of course Knight C3. Everyone plays this line. I really need to study this. I have yet to, to really seriously study this. Um, we play Queen D7. H5, I play G5. Some weaknesses, but it, it should be okay. Oh, risky position. Alright, I'm going to play A5. I'm just going to start throwing my pawns forward. I need to really focus. I just underestimate these positions, and I, I keep getting burned in them. He's playing for f3 and e4, apparently. I would assume it's a nice idea just to play knight a6, knight b4. If he plays a3, I can go b5. Yeah, this looks like a fine drib. This looks like a drib to remember. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. castle 
Let's castle. It's time to castle. Knight's coming to b4, hitting d3 and a2. Alright, we're playing g5. I can snatch this pawn and go back. Bishop g6. Knight's coming to b4. We're gonna take d3. Uh, this this looks like it should be a winning tactic if I can just figure out the right way to do it. It might make more sense just to hold off on it. Okay, let me play knight b4. Okay, I'll take first. Let's take and then play knight b4. Yeah, this there's enormous pressure here. If this knight moves in muscle, then bishop f4 is gonna decide. Okay, we'll take. We'll take. Yeah, should be completely losing. Gonna take on c3. Yeah, got a fantastic position here. Up a pawn. Gonna keep throwing this forward. Alright, time to throw this forward. Knight is completely dead at the moment. Gonna play b4. Maybe knight could come to f4 now, but I don't know, you never know. I'd play rook f5, I'd play rook f8. Things are getting uncomfortable. He could take on d5, maybe. Yep. That's what he did, but okay, no, this this should be over, though. He takes, I play queen f7, I'm just gonna mate him. Yeah, his king is getting checkmated. You have my word on that. Queen d3 and rook f1, or queen c2. Yeah, alright, nice. I'll take that. I will certainly take that. Okay, this guy is GM for life, but he's only an NM. Explain that one to me. Is that South Africa? That must be South Africa, yeah. Play queen e2. I'm gonna play, uh... Let's play h3. I'm gonna play for g4 anyway. I'm wondering about this. Bishop goes to g2, I castle, I got a really healthy position here. Let's get the king out of the way, king h1, gonna push through e4. Yeah, this is looking gorgeous. Um, yeah, I gotta deal with this pawn, I'm gonna play knight, where should my knight go? Let's put my knight on d2. I'm going to play knight d1 to e3 soon enough. If he takes, yeah, he can worsen my structure a bit, but the point is my knight is... I have everything under control now. Should my queen go to e3? Yeah, let's put the queen on e3. There's starting to be some discomfort here. This knight is not well placed. Rook d1 would have also been nice as well. position is very good. Okay, wait, um, wait, if I trade, am I losing this? Yeah, I think I am losing that pawn. Let me just play. I do not want to take, because then everything opens up on e4. Just play rookie one. Everything is still protected. This bishop is dead. He will pay the piper. Y'all have my word on that. He is going to pay the piper sooner or later for that buried bishop. Okay, knight b3. Uh, hmm. 
Yeah, knight b3, whatever. He's going to get a rook to d1. I don't think it's the end of the world. Um, okay, we're taken this way. Well, yeah, now if he's not taken, then I, I have even more options. I'll just drop my queen back. Oh, no, queen e2, then he takes here. Let me play queen g3. Bishop e3 is coming out next. He still can't break through here. I have everything under control. The whole idea, guys, here is that, the, you know, these pawns are so fantastic. If I can just figure out a way to, to just slowly untangle, I'm going to have a fantastic advantage here. Playing queen b4, I play... Can I play rook a4? No, rook a4 doesn't work yet. What is the plan here? I gotta, I gotta just hurry up. I'll play queen f2. Yeah, what was that expression Kevin had? Antsy in the pantsy? I just can't get antsy in the pantsy. Assuming I can deal with it, everything should be going very well. I can just start trading. Oh, he's going to get his bishop out eventually. Okay. My knight should reroute here. Okay, I'm playing knight b1. This is a little dangerous, but I don't see what he can do. And I'm going to play knight d2, c3, and knight c4. Fix everything slowly. Yeah, knight d2. Okay, we're going to play c3 next. If he plays queen d4, I can just play c3. No, c3, he would take, take, and play knight b3. That would be a problem. But right here, c3 and b4 is a big threat. Knight c4, also a big threat. A lot of big threats in this position. Knight c4 here is very strong. c3 also. I think, yeah, his queen is just getting trapped here. And bishop f1. That's the game. That's the game, everybody. Uh, okay, I just need to choose. Does c4 work? c4. Yeah, c4. I gotta play quickly. <laughs> I gotta play much quicker. This is definitely lost here. Knight e1, I just take the queen. I can just pre-move this. Okay, rook d4, knight f3, just pushing him away. I need to just play very quickly. Uh-oh. All right. All right, we're on a, wow, three-game win streak. Uh, no, GM for life. That's really that's always been really interesting to me. Why do you name yourself a GM if you're not a GM? Like there's no shame in being an NM. That was a crazy game. Zero mistakes, zero blunders. That wow. I handled that very well. Okay, here we got Wizard 97. Let's go. Let's go. All right, are we going to get the first time and off? Okay, we got the first time and off. Queen c7. F4, I did not look at this. <laughs> I think we have to play a6 to stop the snipe b5 stuff. The snipe b5 funny business. Um, okay, here queen takes makes the most sense. Because, I mean, we could take with b, but then the a6 move makes no sense there. Bishop should have come to c5. Why didn't I put it there? Knight e7. I'm honestly winging this. I don't really know if I'm playing this correctly. Um, let's castle here. And then I think, yeah, we're supposed to play f6. That's always the way that this happens. And then you play f6 here. If e5, you play f5. All right, and now let's start going. Let's start chopping. Time to get snacking. Rook b8, queen b6, there are a lot of tricks here. I'm play a5, I'm gonna bring my bishop out. Happily exchange it. e5, I still have f5, no problems there. a4, a3 is another idea, there are so many problems here. What is, what? That does not work, sir. He takes, I just stick my queen in front. 
Yeah, something, something's gone wrong in the Cabbage Patch here. All right, chess.com, chess.com. Come on, don't do this to me. Don't do me like, don't do me like this, chess.com. Okay, here we go. We're back. He's going for that. I'm just gonna chop. Play rook f7. Everything is defended. There's nothing here. Oh, he could take twice, but even then he's losing. He takes, I take, he takes, I take, he plays d6, I play queen f7. Still winning. Bishop a6 is just going to trade off. Queen e5 is an interesting idea. Yeah, this guy, this guy has some sneaky ideas. There's no way he has enough time, though. I'm just trading off the bishop. I'm trading off that last great piece. He's going there. All right, here I actually do need to be a little careful. Let me play d6, just making sure this bishop stays stunted for a very long time. Knight g6, I'm just going to blockade the pawn. Have not a, a care in the world here. And not a Karen either. C4. Let's play Rook C8. This pawn is uh, is weak. Okay, now we got to get the knight in. Let's play Knight D3, Knight C5. King D2. I can chop on D5 because takes. Let's play rook d7 here. Yeah, c5 I just take. I'm going to take this pawn. Once I get snacking, there's no going back. Once I get snacking, there's no going back in. Okay, if I take, he's playing c5, so let's just stop c5 first. With rook c5. He has a check, which is a bit annoying, but I don't see anything that can materialize from it. I don't think there was any need to allow this. I definitely misplayed this at some point. Okay, we got the pawn. We got the dark square control. There is not a not a problem in the world here. Let me just get snacking. Let me take another pawn. This rook is hanging. Oh, he got that? I, I didn't notice that. I missed that he had that. Um... I'm going for the mate. Where's the mate here? Uh oh. Yeah, let me start by checking this way. Everything's defended. Got another piece. All right, there must be some mate here. All right. That was a good game. Yeah, we're on the come up. Back up. The bird is the word. Okay, are we going to get another time and off? Please, another time and off. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Shout out to Witik for another time and off. There's no greater pleasure than studying an opening in fine detail. And then your opponents play it against you. And they let you work your magic. I don't know how to play this, though. This is a line I didn't study in the book. What am I going to tell you? I'm sorry. Oh, this is, this is already very risky. This is very risky business. Yeah, I should have played a6 here. Okay, now I, I sort of got out alive. He did not need to allow this. 
Like, this could have gone so much worse than what happened here. Even now, I'm still probably worse, but at least I got castled. I got castled, and it doesn't look like, like my queen is going to be trapped. I'm playing d5, you know, I'll probably lose my pawn back, but at least everything is developed. At the end of the day, everything is A-OK. -okay. Alright, we'll play queen a3. I don't know what he's going for with that. Uh, takes, let's take... Rook d8, I'm just really making sure I'm not blundering anything here. c4. On the one hand, bishop e6, you know, it looks a little weakening because my structure gets terrible, but his bishop is going to be very misplaced at the end of the day. That's what I'm banking on here. Okay, I'll take. I'll bite. If he takes, then I play f6 and I, I have to be fine. Okay. Oh, is he going to take? Alright, he doesn't take, but now... Now, how can I do this? Let me take on a2, hitting this pawn. He plays d6, but then I play rook d7, and I think... I think everything is okay. I'm going to put my queen on f7, play g5, eventually push this bishop, play rook d8. Sooner or later, I should be hunting down that pawn. gonna go rook d8 all right okay h4 let me just start throwing this pawn down the board let's see how he's gonna meet this let's ask him some very serious questions here all right i'll keep going i don't know what he's doing I don't even know where his rook is going. His rook is less active than before. My knight covers both of these scores. Okay, and he's uh, really flying close to the sun here. My pawn is going to keep going until he stops it. I'm playing rook a8. I'm going to keep going. It's time to go. It's time to go. All right, here. Let's put the queen on c4. I just throw my pawn up the board next. Uh oh, he wants to take. No, if he takes, I have queen c1, and I'm fine. So I'll just I'll throw my pawn up the board. Very uncomfortable. I do need to watch out. Okay, yeah, rook c1 is a very big threat, but I have. How do I deal with all of these threats? Let me play. Okay, seven d7 a2. Yeah, okay, I'll play rook a6. I don't know what's going to happen here. If he takes, I think I play knight d4 and I'm winning material. Yeah, this was my whole plan here. If he takes, I take here, and I think I'm up material. I'm not sure, though. 48 seconds. This is going down to the wire, boys. Oh, he's threatening mate. He's threatening mate. Do I have anything to do here? I'm going to throw in a check. I don't think I can do anything. I have to just do this and just starve, pretty much. Attacking the rook. I'm going to play b4 soon enough. I want to attack this. Yeah, this is a really tough position here. I don't think I'm getting made. That was all of what this was about. <laughs> oh, I have to. Yeah, he, he got me. He got me. That was, uh, yeah, that was a crazy position. I definitely mismanaged it. Most importantly, though, I mismanaged my time. If I can just manage my time better. That's an opening, though, that I don't know, right? That's one of the variations I haven't yet looked at in the book. Okay, we got the horsefly defense, the classic horsefly defense. 
All right, if he gives me the center, I'll take the center. You don't have to ask me twice. I'll take all the pawns he wants to give me as well. I'm a greedy guy. Let's play bishop e3. If knight f5, I just play bishop f2. Holding on to this pawn for a very long time. Three. I'm just going to take back. I'm going to play g4 soon enough. Yeah, this is a this is a disaster for him. I guess he has to take. Yeah, if he takes, this knight might get out. But look, oh, takes. I have to protect against this threat. If I can protect against the threat, I'll be winning. If I play rook d1, knight d4, I think that works. I think this wins. I don't see a move for him here. If his queen moves, I take the knight. If his knight moves in, then I take the this pawn, and the knight is going to be dropping. Crazy stuff. The, I I have to say, though, we're, we're going to need to keep a bird counter. It feels like I'm losing some games with black, but I'm winning every single game with white. He's going for that. Look at him. Uh, Yeah, that's a good move, though. I completely missed that. All right, I'm just going to... I'm going to take. Who cares? Who cares if I'm down a little something-something? If he takes on h1, I move back and I'm safe. All right. Yeah, bishop f2. His bishop is still really locked in. My king is a bit uncomfortable, though, of course. This queen is just a wild card here. I'm not sold on how bad this is. If, like, if queens get traded, I could easily see white being in the driver's seat here. Uh, queen e4 is going to be really annoying to come to b1. What am I going to do here? Yeah, this position is super uncomfortable, actually. I'll play bishop e3. Just queen e4 is a bit harder to do than before. Knight should come around to d2 to s just seal up everything. Uh-oh, rook d1. Let me check. I'll play bishop e... Oh, he takes. Yikes, he takes. Okay, but... Not the end of the world just yet. Let me play knight c2, dominating this knight. Everything is still... Oh, it's, it's bad, but you know, time is ticking. Time is ticking. If we can just keep everything... If I play bishop f2, I lose the pawn. I gotta play king f1. Not the move. Knight b4 would be very strong here. Knight before would be very, very strong. Because he's just distracting my bishop. I want to offer a draw, but I feel like that might that might anger the great Serb. G5? Okay. Yeah, G5. This position is so uncomfortable. Okay, let me... Oh, no, no. Oh no, okay. Alright, I dropped the queen. I, I got too too flustered there. I was hoping for some type of trick. I think I was dead lost though. Yeah, that was so tricky. That queen d5 move. I just completely missed that queen d5 move. If not for that queen d5 move, it would have just been winning. That's just due to a basic, a basic tactical error. That has nothing to do with the bird. The bird got a great position there. The bird always gets a good position against the horse fly. All right, here we are. Yasek Stopa. I've seen that name so much, I don't think I've ever met this guy in person. Okay, let me play knight f6 here. Knight c6, and then we play e5. Queen d3, e5. Yeah, I remember this. Takes, takes, and everything is, is good here. d5, got a nice center.
If he castles, okay, I'm going to castle, put my rook on e8. I think I have full compensation here. I play h6, he takes, I take back. Alright, what is, what is the plan here? How's my bishop going to get out? Yeah, this is this is more tricky than I'd expected. I'll play queen d6 here. Knight h5, f4 is a big idea. Putting the queen on f8. Um, where should my bishop go? These pawns are a bit annoying, aren't they? c4. That's his idea? Okay, I can play knight h5. Let me get the bishop. I'm taken. I'm definitely taking the bishop. He has the cube. Look at that. He has the famous cube. But I got the bishop here. I got a deep one. I don't think this is the end of the world. Bishop g6. Bishop g6 is really annoying. Yeah, it would be really nice if, you know, if I could get a game where the game just stays on. We trade bishops? I'm not really sure that's to his advantage, though. Um... My bishop is very good here. I'm gonna take with the queen. Alright, that's what he's going for. Play a6. Get my bishop a bit better. If he goes there, I go there. Rook c1, I play queen a4. Otherwise, I'm playing queen c4. I think I have to be fine after queen c4. Okay, I'm attacking this. Starting to put a little pressure. The pressure is starting to mount bit by bit. Queen e8. Queen h5 to h1 is an interesting idea. Hitting the b2 pawn. And hitting h2. Yeah, he's in a lot of trouble here. I think he should have just played knight d4. I think he was too focused on just getting a, a, a simple clean win. Now he's gonna have to, he's gonna have to pay the piper. I can only say it so many times. You don't want to pay the piper. When you play the when you pay the piper, bad things happen. Queen g6. Okay. He's attacking this. That's his idea. Let me check. I like queen b1 a lot. Yeah, queen b1 freezes out everything. Oh, he has knight d2. No, knight d2. Oh, knight d2. Alright, let me play queen g1. He's going to take and then, yeah, things are going to get really messy here. This king is in the center of the board at the end of the day. Maybe I have some chances here. Rook c7 is the end of the game. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, I have nothing to do here. No checks, no nothing. That was a wacky position. Yeah, I need to add queen d3 to the list of lines I need to study. Alright, let me get out the bird. I start off with a few wins, and then we, we continue with a few losses, so hopefully we can turn things... I don't know why anyone plays this. My, my lifetime goal now is to just make sure that everyone understands that this is just, like, pretty much losing. Uh, okay, we play knight g2 and then h5. Yeah. Unfortunately for him, I studied the theory here. h3, bishop e4. This is a really cool variation. Um, yeah, I think we just play knight c3. Not a care in the world here. He could take, take. Okay, h3, we play bishop e4, f5. What do I do here? Bishop d3? Yeah, I'm just going to play b3 and bishop b2. 
Still not a problem in this position. B3, bishop, b2. I could also castle here. Yeah, let me play b3 first. If he plays knight e5, I can throw in a check. If he plays c6, then I just go back. Asking him the serious questions here. Maybe knight f3, though. Yeah, this... I should have... I should have paid more attention to this. It's a bit more problematic than I, I would have liked to believe. Okay, I'll play king f2 here. I'm giving away the bishop, but the idea... Or the, the exchange, but the idea is that my bishop is going to be fantastic here. On the light squares. He better take now. He has to take or forever hold his piece. Yeah, he's going for tricks. He's got an eye out for the tricks. Let's play d4. If he takes on f4, I take this way. He could take on h1, I take on e5. Very strange position. Okay, knight f3. Interesting. But I play bishop e3, I think I'm... I'm doing fine now. This this knight is honestly a bit obtrusive, but no, I take. I play queen d2. Rook comes to e1. Everything is sealed up. The cracks are sealed. All right. Yeah, I completely missed that. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I completely missed that move. Can I play d5 here? Yeah, I have to play d5. I need to open up my pieces. I desperately need to open up my pieces, and I need to make sure that his queen cannot get in there. Rook takes d5. I completely missed that. Yeah, I'm just losing here. Oh, this is uncomfortable. I can't believe I let this guy get away with this e5 nonsense. I just need to play a bit better. All right, let's let's uh, let's get a rematch. I want to... Does he want to teach me another lesson or no? Okay, yeah. D3? All right, I'll play, uh, play g6. Do I play f5? Yeah, I could definitely play f5 now. This is the whole idea. You play um, knight f6 here. Oh, e5. e5 could have been annoying. I gotta start winning. I can't get shown up by a fellow GM. Position's a bit bad here. He has a much healthier structure. Play rook f7. We'll see what he's up to. Oh, knight f4. Knight f4 is so uncomfortable. Well, no, knight f4, I play knight f3. Everything is holding on.
Starship F4. Here do I have it? Do I have the sneaky idea? No, let me just play rookie A. Oh, these positions are so strange. I'm trying to make knight g4, knight of 2 work. Play bishop h6. He takes, I take. If he plays knight e6, I can just take. That's okay. Knight e6, I could even throw in knight g4 first. It's getting very, very risky for both sides. He's taken that way. Alright. Take like this. Okay, he can take on a7. I don't... I don't know what's happening though, honestly. This this looks like a complete mess. I know I've said that the past 10 minutes, but it really is true. This is just a really wacky position here. H4, okay, let me take. I could also play F3. Yeah, let's play F3. I think F3 works. I really, I don't know. I don't know. Everything is just a gamble here. But the idea of F3 makes a lot of sense. Pushing the bishop around. If he plays bishop f1 or h1, I think... Okay, that's interesting. But I play bishop g4. Yeah, what is the plan? I'm still going to take here. If he takes, I take. Oh, he could take here, actually. If he takes, I take... No, that's fine. My bishop is good. i got to be doing all right there. Um... Take on h4. I really don't know if this works, but it looks very, very interesting. Okay, he's going there. I'm gonna I'm gonna take as many pawns as I possibly can. I'm gonna take all the candies. Let's play queen g7. C5, I'm just trying to... Oh, this is... Uh, I should have managed my time better. Oh, h6 is very tricky. Alright, that should have been a draw. I would have been gotten a draw if I had just not flagged. Alright, can we get a rematch? Oh, he, he just... Okay, he beat me 3-0 and ran, ran away. Alright. It's a tough position. Alright, we're behind... To, we're below 2700. I mean, the good news, though, you guys have to understand, I'm playing openings I still haven't fully solidified, at least for the next few weeks. That's going to be the case. Either y'all would have to sit, wait, and wait for me to study all these openings, you know, because I'm a teacher, making a lot of YouTube videos. I don't have time to study all these openings. So, I don't know what to tell y'all. The grind to 3,000, I think we'll, we'll be getting there, though. It's going to happen at some point.
I've also generally been recording these when I'm already quite tired, when I've already been teaching for most of the day. So, everything together, I, I'm still at more or less the same level of confidence as I was before. Hmm. Man, that was a really tricky game. Alright, uh, yeah, hopefully chess.com reloads at some point. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Another time for a time and off. Yeah, I've been seeing B3 a lot. I'll need to study this more. Nigel Short hit me with that earlier today. This B3 funny business. If I play D5... No, D6 is better. Let me just castle. I could play A5 at some point. Position is a little strange, but... Um, Ultimately, I don't think I can be worse here. Yeah, I definitely cannot be worse here. Thrown in check. Wacky stuff. I, I'm playing for F6, E5 long term. Bishop G5, another idea. Very sneaky guy. He wants to play C4. Very, very sneaky guy. Okay, I'm playing F6 and E5 now. We got it. I'm going to reroute my knight to E6. I should put my rook on E8, put my bishop back on F8. Yeah, bishop is going to F8. Okay, that's his plan. Uh, yeah, I'll just put my bishop on f8. There's no problem here. f4. f4 is an interesting idea. Um, rook c8, just getting out of the way of any f4 funny business. Now a6 and b5. If he plays c4, he weakens this drastically. My goal here is to open up this bishop sooner or later. Rook d2 is going to really hurt. Yeah, if rook c4, I can take, take, rook d2, rook c2, and I'm getting everything back. This bishop is very vulnerable. Bishop c5. Very uncomfortable position, honestly, for him. Um, I should fix... I should move to fix some other weaknesses. Okay, king is coming to d3. Let me play h4. I need to create a weakness on this side of the board. Making sure to keep this bishop blunted against my pawn here.
King f7, King e6. This pawn is very, very weak here. I can just play bishop d6 and regain it. That was a very instructive idea, honestly, right? Like, the king comes around and you just you fix a weakness based on the side he's abandoning. If he plays bishop e3, I just play rook h3. This is looking very uncomfortable for him. I gotta just start moving my pawns up. I want him to waste as much time before I actually have to cash out and take and then take on h2. Okay, that time is now. I'm putting my rook right here, parking it behind the pawn. I'm gonna start moving my pawns up. He is gonna go pretty quickly, but I think... I think I should be winning. He could try rook e4, c4. I just need to be cognizant of it, and I think that's gonna be enough. Yeah, these pawns are quite the, the problem for him. He's probably going to get my rook first, but I'm going to have two pawns. Let's play g3. Oh, king e5. I should have I should have known. I should have known he was up to something. Let's play king g6. g2. A really sneaky idea. C7. Alright, let me... Okay, I'm just gonna flag him, honestly. Um, yeah, it's not it's not the way I wanted to win, but it's the way I have to win. We're in the, the business of a dirty flag here. Okay, I got him. We got him. Yeah, that was a that was a crazy game. Honestly, I uh, I need to get better at my my end games. Like yeah, right here, just play king f six. Just be aware of the king e five idea. My pawns are getting a bit too far from from my king. All right, let's go. Uh, this is G M G. Who is this guy? Oh, Gorovets. Yeah, Gorovets is a strong player. Hmm. Um. Yeah, it's best not to play c4 in these situations. It's best to just play slowly with something like d3. I'm gonna play e4 sooner or later. Knight g4, I just take on g7, no problem. That comes to d2 and f3. Not a care in the world here. Alright, his time is ticking. The man's time is ticking down. Tick tock, tick tock. Ninety two, ninety four, a four. I need to keep his knight out of the square, obviously. Bishop needs to be fixed sooner or later. Bishop should not be over here, looking at this pawn. Bishop wants to be on d2. Is he going to play f5 here? Is that his idea? Yeah, that's an interesting one. But I play e5. This can't be bad for me. Bishop comes to d2. He's playing g5. And g5 doesn't make sense, though. Yeah, I don't think g5 can make sense here. Put my queen on g3. Bishop goes to d2. If knight b4, I play bishop d1. No problem.
H4, H5 is quite a legitimate idea long term. He's still trying to get G5 to work. I think he can sort of give up on it. Yeah, if we play knight g5, takes takes. You get some dark square weaknesses. Yeah, that looks terrible, actually. I'm going to play this. This looks... I think he messed up here. The idea is h5, I play... Okay, can I take on h5? Taking on h5 probably is good, but... And g4 looks best. This just looks like it's the end of the game, honestly. There's way too much happening here. Okay, queen h5... Queen h5 runs into some funny business, but if I just... I mean, just play bishop f4 here. g6. I really like this move. This this is guaranteeing that everything is going to be opened. This is guaranteeing some really fierce openings. And uh, queen h4 to f6 is still a massive idea here. Knight g6, I just play rook g1. Okay, oh, knight is coming around. Knight is coming around. But I think, no, I have bishop g5, bishop f6. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Plays knight g4. I was hoping I could take here. I was thinking I had bishop f6, but maybe I don't. Maybe bishop f6 doesn't work, but... I don't... What a crazy position this is. I think I'm mating still. Bishop g4. What is happening here? Okay, he takes. Well, no, check. Takes, I check, and I, I win. But... Yeah, let's just check. That's it. It's over. I just snatch a rook. I snatch the mango. Ah, he goes there. These GMs are so good, but uh, no, I can just go back. He, if he takes, I, I check and I mate. Insane stuff. Uh, yeah, this... Nice. There we go, guys. The game of the century. Oh, he wants a game. You can't beat a GM with a, with a bird without pissing him off. <laughs> If you beat a GM with the bird, know that they're either going to ban you or they're going to immediately rematch you. Okay, d6 beat d4, and then we play c6 and a5. Yeah, I got so much to review. So many different variations to, to look at. Yeah, this leads to interesting positions. My knight goes to um my knight goes to b6. I don't think this is that bad. From what I studied, I I don't remember this being that bad, but oh maybe this is that bad. Yeah, this is looking pretty bad. If he plays knight f7 though, I don't I'm not certain. Sure. I'm gonna take take and play d5. I think he's trapped. Queen d6 and bishop e6. Yeah, I also have ideas even of knight c8, knight d6, like bishop d7. Alright, he's going there, though. Yeah, that's a good move. Um, let me play knight g8, just to defend everything. Oh, this is so tricky. What is, what is the idea here? Bishop f... Knight h6 is going to trap the queen. Knight h6 traps the... What is his plan here? Bishop e7? Oh, bishop e7 wins. Bishop e7, knight f7. Oh. I got to learn this theory. This... Oh. I, I really wish I just knew what to play in these positions. That would be so nice. That would be like a Christmas... Christmas coming early. If that happened. Okay, let me take. Like 10 things here. 10 things hanging here. Yeah, I'm losing here. It'd be really nice if, like, you know, we could get a position that I'd actually studied in the book. This is very frustrating. 
as y'all can tell, y'all can feel my frustration oozing through the screen. I really, I want to resign this position. This is pretty hopeless. I tell my students not to resign, so I'm not resigning either. Even though this is looking really dire. Rook C, okay, no rook c6. I'll put my bishop on d5 then. Just holding on for dear life. Yeah, there's really, there's not really anything to even play for here. Alright. Let's go again. Maybe three attack the pawn. I got a good structure here. If we trade, things are going very well. If we don't trade, I'll play knight h4 and chop this bishop off. I should deal with b6 sooner or later, right? Yeah, let me just take here, play queen c2, so I can play b6, so I can play b4. A strange position, honestly. Bishop d2, rook e8, I'll just play, let me just play, I'll play h3, he could sacrifice, that would be interesting, okay, I, I don't know what he's going for here, um, let me play rook e1, just to provide some extra defense, yeah, really not sure what he's going for here. Maybe he's playing for g5 long term, I'm just going to load up on the queen side. Just loading up on the queen side. Okay, yeah, I have to, I can't allow the trade. Let me take and just drop my bishop back. Which way is he going to take? Put my rook here, and I'm going to drop my bishop back. This is so... That's a weakness. No, actually, no, sorry. He's going to play g5 soon enough. I need to be a bit careful. Let's just play b5. Let's get this, this play going on this side of the board. Um, should I play b6? Yeah, I'll, I'll play b6. We'll see. I got a really strong pass pawn here, but I do need to make sure that I, I have something ready to go. Um, okay, well, here, this is great. I just take... I play bishop h5, and I'm scooping up the rook. I got the mango on Instacart. The mangoes are coming in in bulk on Instacart. Let's take. Get my king over to h1. Yeah, it seems like the drib is the big culprit of why I keep losing rating. I wanted to do the speedrun as a drib bird special, but I'm going to have to study the drib a lot more seriously if I want that to legitimately work. Play knight h5. No, knight h5. I play queen c8. This is over. Yeah, this was a smooth game. Queen c8, attacking the queen, attacking this. He's going for it, but what? what is the plan? Well, he's going to play bishop f4 next. But I just throw in a check. 
This king has to go in and then takes and no mate. No mate on g2. Alright, that's a good game. 2709, we're more or less breaking even. It seems like pretty much every game I get with uh, with white, though, is going well with the bird. Alright, so someone just does not want to play against the bird. Draw denied Twitch. Who is this? I've seen this this name before. Alright, apparently he's uh, denying to identify himself as well. Okay, we take... No. No. Yeah, I've never seen Bishop G5 before. I'll have to study that as well. Uh, Y'all are going to have to forgive me for that one. That's, a, that's an embarrassing one. So we're back down to 2703 after that. I can't call that a mouse slip. I honestly, I just wasn't expecting Bishop G5 at all. So I lose rating and then I still don't get a white after that. That doesn't seem fair. Yeah, we play c5 here. These positions are... This just looks very healthy. If I'm being honest, he should move this knight out of the way and play c4. Yeah. That's generally what he's supposed to do. Um, play bishop e7. c4, can I play e5 here? Yeah, let's play e5. Takes, I just take with the knight, and I'm doing fine. Knights look a little strange. There's a bit of awkwardness. Oh, there's a... Yeah, there's a really aw bad continuation. Takes, takes, bishop c4, king h8. We trade queens and knight g5. That's going to be very annoying. Hoping that doesn't happen. Yeah, this is first on my to-do list in terms of lines to study. I need to look at this this chapter again because I, I've studied it several years ago and I can't remember it. I can't remember it for the life of me. All right, he doesn't play it. Um, yeah, bishop c4 is still a looming threat, though. I, I more or less have to deal with it. This knight... What am I going to do? Let me just play h6. No more knight g5 stuff. That position isn't that bad if the knight can't get to g5. All right, now let's play... I mean, sooner or later, I have to play f4. He should really play bishop c4 now, and just trade the queens. Queen b3, let's play king h8. Queen e8, we're going to play g5 and g4, or even bishop g4. Let me play queen h5 here. I don't see any real problem yet. If he takes, I take... Yeah, it looks fine, honestly. Like, they're, okay, there's some, uh... Can I play bishop g4 here? I think bishop g4 wins. Because the whole idea is that he takes, I take, take... Okay, he's doing it that way. Um, he wants to play knight e6, obviously. I'll play rook d8. I'm going to bring my queen back. Yeah, there's nothing really left to do there if I can't... Oh, what? He could take? Oh, I completely missed that. But okay, do we have knight d4? Yeah, let me try knight d4. He can take, take, and take on e7. There's a lot of funny business going on. But no, at the, no, at the end of the day, if he takes and does all that on e7, I think I have some tricks. Yeah, this is a this is a really wild position, honestly. This is an insane position. Definitely, like the first thing I need to do after this 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 recording is done is just I need to study these lines. Let's play b five. Push this queen around. Okay. Uh, this knight looks like it's borderline 
dead. Let me... Ooh, f3 is such a nice move. Whatever he takes with, I just take with my knight. I'm hitting the queen. He has no way out. My whole idea with, of f3 was I wanted to just put my queen on h5 when the bishop wouldn't be attacking it, but it turns out this is even better. Really wacky stuff here. All right, nice. Nice, I'll definitely take that win. I'll take that win straight to the bank. So so in the end, it looks like, uh, how much time do we have? We've been on an hour 15. I'm going to keep going for another another 45 minutes. It's uh, it's quite funny, though, isn't it? That, um, that literally it's <laughs> we've more or less broken even. I really, I don't mind the center at all. I think it's very, very safe, very comfortable. Okay, let's take. He's going to have to chop everything. Then we play c4, and we got a really nice center. What could ever be the matter here? Takes on b5, they play knight b4. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll am i go for it. I'll bite. This uh, It's a little strange, but I think bishop c4, I have way too much play here. Bishop e4. Okay, bishop a3 maybe. Yeah, bishop a3, we got a lot of tension here. He takes on d5. I could take and take on e7, but I think rook e1 is better. The threat of e4 is very serious. If he plays bishop e4, I just dig him out with knight d2. Knight g5 is even stronger, actually. This is hanging, this is hanging. It, this looks resignable already. Maybe he could try takes and then take on d4. It looks like he has to try something like that, but I don't know. Like, takes on e3, I take on e4. Tricky business. Okay, if I play e4, he, they take on d4. e4 takes on d4. I feel like I'm, I should be winning there, but I need to be careful. Let's play rook d1. But rook d1, h6. This is dangerous. The clock is ticking. Let me just play... Let me play bishop e2. Yeah, this is the thing that should be fixed. Now my rook is looking here. H6, I play E4, and everything is still good. H6, I can also take and then play E4. This this is leading to very wacky positions, but I think ultimately I have to at least have the advantage here. This Yeah, the, the fact that this D4 pawn is hanging with a check makes such a huge difference in the evaluation. This is still a very uncomfortable position, though. Okay, that... That I'm never going to complain about. Um, if I play e4, takes on f4, g3, knight h5, I take on e6. Yeah, let's just go for that. That's the simplest. That's definitely simple. He can win. He could take another pawn, but I'm going to get this. If knight h5, I'm just going to play e5 sooner or later. Let's take with check, e5, and everything is dead here. Nothing to really worry about. What is the plan here? Let me play d5 and d6. I think I made a huge mistake. Takes, takes. Uh, let me play rook a5. Keep my rook's eye on this pawn. I gotta... I really gotta. <laughs> I gotta smooth everything out here. This is really risky business. Okay, I'm just gonna take and take. 
If he starts checking, yeah, maybe I should play rook c7, but this is, of course, very, very hit or miss. I might even be losing now. My king is going to be very exposed here, but I'm, I'm banking on the fact that uh, his king is just as weak as mine. Okay, rook d2. Can I play rook d7? Yeah, let me play rook d7 first. Oh, that was silly. Oh no, rook d7 is perfect. What am I talking about? I'm attacking both rooks. He's doing that, but he just missed that I can just take. Really close game. Really wacky game there. Alright, let's go. Let's go again. Twenty three twenty two. Hopefully I can get the W. Yeah, I'll, I'll happily take the center. I remember this in yeah, if they play knight f six. Okay, let me start with a check. This is a very annoying check. His bishop wanted to come to b7. Yeah, this position looks fantastic. Look at the center. I can play for... Well, e6 I want to be careful about, but... um, Yeah, how am I going to up the pressure? If I play f5, f5 is the classic idea here, but I need to do it at the right time. Knight e4 could also be good, but again, I need to wait for the right moment. This These knights are complete doo-doo. Play bishop d2. I'm going to put the rook on e1. Okay, he wants to play b5. I'm just going to play b3 if he does that. It's not... It's really no bother. Um, it's no bother to my position b3 yeah if b takes i just take back otherwise b4 i just play knight d1 and i reroute my knight i still have such a huge advantage in the center okay he's playing a5 a4 interesting um definitely here i want to start thinking about how i'm going to make progress but okay here I, I like a4 just keeping everything as close as possible if he takes i just take if he plays b4, everything is completely sewn up. I could have also taken with the bishop, that would also be fine. Yeah, knight d1, knight f2, knight g4, play for f5, I think the game should be over. Knight d1, bishop takes a5 is already a threat. Yeah, he has to waste so much time defending this stuff. Um, already e6 takes and knight g5. Yeah, that probably is winning, honestly. That's probably the best way to play this. Let me just... I don't mean, knight f2 would be so picturesque, but I need to stop worrying about beauty. This ain't a beauty contest after all. Takes, I play knight g5, I got threats of knight h7, knight e6. Alright, yeah, time to take. Knight comes to g5. This is just a... It's a positional disaster here. I could play knight e6 and win, but I feel f5 is probably stronger. Just to go for an attack, but... Yeah, let me play knight e6. Hmm. No, I'll play f5 first. I can still go knight e6. I can now take. There's so many ideas here. Like, if knight goes back to d7, I take. I take, and that's just the end of the game. Queen e6 is another big idea. Okay, if I take... Yeah, this is beautiful. Look at this. I can just ignore his threat and just bring my bishop back. He has no way to get anything here. If takes... I mean, I could, of course, take with a nice attack, but I think even more beautiful is knight e3. Alright, I'll just take. Time to chop. He's not chopping. Knight h7 looks great. Knight e6 looks even better, though. Knight e6, this has to just be over. It's really it's time to pack up the pieces, buddy. Flash Flash BJ is is getting wrecked. Queen H three. I'm gonna break through on H six. Knight G eight. But yeah, it's just sooner or later this position has to come undone. It's just it's too much. This is too healthy an attack here. 
And there's still not a single good thing about his position at the moment. And I have a really simple plan. I have two knight g4, crash through, end the game. End the game, sir. Knight e3, knight f5 also makes sense. If they take, we take, and then queen to f5 into h7 should be sufficient. Yeah, this is bad on so many levels. Queen c8, I can just dominate with bishop f5. Let's play rook f1. He could take on d5. Why doesn't he take on d5? Yeah, no, there's there's no way any of this stuff works. Um, right, I'll take. Rook f7, coming in. Coming in for the checkmate. Uh, okay, right here. Right here, bishop c Yeah, just take first. Take in bishop c3. This has to be it. It's time to go. Okay, he's taken there. And do I take? Yeah, what is... Okay, I just gotta play quicker, honestly. Um, I'm play bishop f5. This knight's getting back. It's really not the end of the world, though, right? You just need to play... Continue playing solidly. Queen takes a4, okay. Yeah, things are getting quite tricky here. Kudos to this guy for surviving this much, but it, it has to be over. There must have been a simpler win, though. Let's look at the game review. Let's see that on the replay, Bob. Alright, yeah. Where where was the... C4? C4 is a mistake. I just wanted to get a good amount of space, you know what I mean? Yeah, this has to be completely winning. Knight D1 is a mistake? Let me retry it. What's the move here? Is it E6 or F5? Yeah, e6, they take, and then what? Knight b5, wow, look at this, knight b5 takes, and then we break through. Takes, king h8, I would assume, yeah, probably it's best just to take back, but even knight g5 might be interesting. Okay. But then right here, where was the win? I knew I was winning, but it just, it, things never, things never materialized. Oh, did, was rook takes, ah, okay, look at this, rook takes e7, takes... It's something like bishop h6, this has to be over. Rook takes g7. King takes, I take on h6, and everything is, is busting open. Alright. 27-14. Gained a solid two points from that game. Let's, let's get ready for the next one. Super focused. Super focused. E3, B3. Just drop the bishop on B5. Oh, why didn't I take? Yeah, you can always chop here. As soon as you got this, you, it's good to just chop. Chop, chop, chop. Yeah, d3, knight d2, e4, this, this is always good. He has to play for a really quick c4. Most people don't know to do this, though. The idea is they play for c4 and they get decent compensation. That's the best they can in the structure. It's already quite bad for them. Otherwise, even if they get the sacrifice, it's still a little worse. Uh, okay, f5. Yeah, let's play f5 here. c4 has to be played now. If he lets me play c4, the, all the light scores are gone, and this bishop is just in prison forever. Don't do it to yourself, lad. All right, this is tricky. c4, this pawn is coming at a4. Oh, I'll go for it anyway. This, It's risky business, but, you know, c4, d4, I can't be worse there. c4, d4, I'll play g4, rook f2. I'm, I'm fortifying the queen side. It's going to take him a while to, to generate any pressure there. Okay, g4, rook f2, knight f1, knight g3. He's, yeah, he's going around. He's going around the world. 
I should have prevented this somehow. But okay, I, I think this is still fine. Oh, what am I doing? Bishop h4. Oh, yikes. Okay, that was not a good good move. But, you know, for what it's worth, I got the dark squared bishop, which uh, now is going to be very important. Yeah, it would have been nice if I didn't blunder. <laughs> it would have been more ideal if I didn't blunder, but for, for the blunder that happened, it really wasn't that bad. H4, G5. Very interesting ideas here. Perhaps the knight was better on F3, though. If I could get my rook over here, then that would be great, because then I'm just fortifying everything. There's no way in. I would bet I'm still going to win on time here. He's really eating up his time. H5, I got a lot of pressure. Pressure is starting to mount. Queen G3, eyeing D3. Uh, Bishop D2. I'm going to play Rook B1. Rook B4, A3. Risky business. Risky business indeed. Um, I play king h1 if knight a3 I play rook g1 he takes I play bishop c1 I, th I feel I should have something there I don't know for certain but I feel that there should there must be something in that position knight c2 if I play g yeah g6 look at that g6 is the move this is a huge threat if h6 I just take and I'm going to play g7 Very, very tricky position here. Queen e8, I have knight f6. Oh, that's super risky. I'm taking. I'm chopping down all the trees. Knight e3, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I had a nice tactic there, but at the end of the day, I still need to find good moves. Um, can we play knight f6? Knight f6, queen f6, I play bishop g5. And then, okay, I'm going to go for it. I think this works. Bishop g5, and I'm going to play queen f3, queen h5. This looks winning. Is it? I don't know, but he's he only has three seconds. He's, he's done. It's time to go. You're done. All right. Uh, yeah, that was a wacky game, wasn't it? Vitaly Bernadsky. This guy's like 2,600. Fide. Really ready for some action here. 2,886. What a, what a chess.com rating that is. I'm going to have to really like do a deep dive into all these variations. Yo, why can't I just play knight f6 here? Alright, El Castle. Perhaps I'm making a mistake here, I don't know. I'm gonna take with the rook, so that there's there's not much of an issue here. Yeah, no, no rook g6 issues at least. Uh, h5, I play g5, I don't think that's a particularly concerning thing. I play d5. It's it's a weak it's a it's a very strange structure honestly, but it's I don't think it's particularly bad. Long term, my knight can go here. All right, queen f seven. I'm keeping everything under control. Knight d three. Yeah, this is a strange, strange, strange position. I think I play a6. If he takes, I play rook a7 and his knight is trapped. He really has to bite the bullet here if he wants to potentially lose to the drib. 
Yeah, if he takes Rook A7, I'm not... I really... That's that's completely 50-50 whether or not he's losing or, or winning there. If he gets the Knight out, of course he's completely winning, but... 95? Oh, okay, 95. Sneaky move. Let's take. I'm going to play F4. Getting the pieces out. One way at a... One Rook at a time. i got to get that Rook out. Got to get the Rook out. And Rook F5 is coming. He's taking on C... Well, if he takes on C7, I play Rook E4. He's completely bamboozled here. I think we got him. We got him with the Driv. Yeah, this is losing. This is completely hopeless. What's he going to do? He's taking on C... Taking on C7, he takes on there. Can I take here first? Yeah, this is simplest. Let's just take here. Really hopeless position here. If he took on g6, uh, that would also be completely winning, but that would be at least a bit more hopeful for him. But here, here he has to be getting mated. Um, I'm just missing the exact execution here. Queen g2, bishop e4, takes, takes. All right, yeah, this is this has to be over. He's going to take, I take here, and then I play e5. It's the end of the line. Bishop g4 is going to decide. b3, I really like queen f2. Check. Queen f2, hits this, hits this. Nice. That's a good win. Plus 12. I'll send him a rematch. Maybe he wants to get even against the Drib. Okay. 2582. Another Drib. Hopefully I can get again with White again. How much time is left? 140? Yeah, we got a little bit of time. D5, you just meet it with E5. Yeah, we got this position again. I'm gonna I'm really gonna have to do some research into this. I think that's part of the problem. I'm not supposed to play E4 so quickly. I think that's part of what, what's going on here. I'm playing E4 too quickly and things start to to just go belly up after that. This bishop is very good here. C5, okay. C5 immediately. Yeah, this position is a bit dangerous. I'm going to take... I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I play knight e5. Really wacky stuff. Takes, takes. Bishop e6. Yeah, I gotta study this London. <laughs> I gotta study it. It's, uh... This is not a good outcome here. This is certainly not a good outcome. C6, I'm just giving this bishop more and more squares, but what else can I do? I play a5 here. If he takes, I'm going to play rook b8 and get some counterplay. I'm going to chop down his queen side as well. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. He's trying to finesse it a bit too much. Queen b6, I play rook a6. Right, knight d5. This bishop is going to be so annoying on d6, but I, I don't really see any any option here. Any way around this. Wacky stuff, certainly. Alright, 
Takes, takes. A lot of pressure here. Queen b4, we have a3, and let's play a3. d4, I like this. If takes, I play f4, and the bishop is completely walled in. I'm playing up a rook now. Things should be easy. Okay, let's chop here. Can keep on chopping very soon. I chop. Yeah, the chopping is going to have to come to an end sooner or later. He's going here. Let's play rook d3. I really, I don't see where, where this is going. This is going to be mate soon. He can check. He can check I go here and he pins, but then I have mate. Alright. No, this, come on, this can't be good. This isn't. This obviously can't be a viable solution. Just to end with this bishop here. Oh, okay. Wait. He has queen c three. Yeah, queen c three. Yeah, like of course I was talking about this as if the, he had no chances. But if the queen's coming to c three, anything can happen. Rook a1, got everything under control, king h6, yeah, let me play, um, what am I doing here, I really need to focus, let me play g5, stopping some checks. This is a crazy position. Oh, rook f2, that's a... Look at that. He takes, I take, and I'm going to make a queen. That took so long. He defended that so well. That was very tricky. Wow, let's let's get to the next one. So I'm ending on quite a streak. We're up uh, like 25 points. How many games we got left? We got time for like a game or two left. I'll play two more games. Dun, 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 dun. I guess we'll just play one more game. It depends on how quickly chess.com is going to reload. Yeah, practically stalled me to the guy in this position with rook f1.
Particle Accelerator did not want to play. So we got Noali Muhammad. Is that Tunisia? Yeah, I just did a, a map. I just did a map challenge where I had to guess all the maps in the world, so I remember that. Give me that bishop pair. Give me that bishop pair, please. Where should my bishop go? Let me play a three knight. Knight before it was going to be quite an annoying move. G four, G five. It's time to, it's time to throw some haymakers out here. G four, G five, going to be very annoying. He pushes the knight back, then H four and bishop H three. Yeah, g4, g5 is a quite an uncomfortable move. Alright, like, what do they actually do there? So, okay, knight e4. Knight e4, they're playing for queen h4. Let's play h4. Gonna play d3 next. Push their knight around the board. And get chomping. g7 is also hanging. Yeah, this is a very difficult position for them to play. This is crazy. A wacky position here. D3, knight c5, and knight d2. I'm gonna play e4. Alright, I'm just, I'm snacking. You don't have to ask me twice, I'm snacking. I'm gonna snack, snack, snack on this position. Knight f6. Knight f6 is a sneaky move. Uh, not that sneaky, honestly, but it's a little sneaky. I'm going to play bishop e2. This is going to be a, a point of contention. If he takes with the rook, I can play queen g3. If he takes with the knight, I play queen g2. Things are quite uncomfortable for him. Let's play queen g2. I don't. I really don't know what's happening here, but I think I have at least enough. Enough for equality. Really wacky position, though. Um... I want to be able to evacuate my king if I need to. Alright. Bishop a3 could be annoying. Yeah, I gotta be more serious here. This is a 2615. I'm just playing this as if I have all the time in the world. Play queen e4. My queen sits comfortably here. If I'm allowed, I'm going to play f5 with a, a fantastic position. They should definitely take here. But then we, we trade queens and I can't be worse there. Yeah, I'm actually... What am I talking about? I'm still doing fantastic here. I'm going to chomp on g7. Play h6. This is really fantastic for me. I'm loving the bird. The bird is the word. They take, I play bishop d3. Okay, knight f5, but bishop g4, sir. Bishop g4, you got bamboozled. You got got. Okay, that's, uh... That should be the end of the game. What beautiful bishops. How much longer can he go on? I'm just gonna play rook g1, defend the bishop, and play h7. You could literally give, take away one of my rooks and I would probably still be winning. If he plays rook e8, okay, bishop h7. Good game, sir. Good game. Alright. Do I have time? I guess I must have time for one more. Yeah, we got a bit more time. Alright, this is uh, Bile Lu. Oh, I've seen that name before. I've definitely seen that name before. If he plays d5, we play d3. We're going to hit him with the raven variation. Okay. He wants the, the queen d2. Play g6, buddy. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Queen d2. The raven variation. d4. And now here we're supposed to play e4. They take and then we play queen c3. I've analyzed this. Okay. And we take the rook and... Time to resign. That is the game. Yeah, he should pay more attention. The Raven variation 
counts another victim. The Raven variation so far has beaten two GMs. He's just looking for some glimmer of a hope, but there's really no hope here. He just blundered a rook. There's really nothing to discuss here. I guess he has to play e6, but th this is still just terrible. I could play g4, knight h4, then I play knight g5. Alright. Who wants a rematch? This It's not good to take a rematch with this guy. This guy is way better than his rating. So... Alright, is he going to play the real stuff? Okay, good. Queen c7, bishop... I, I have not looked at this yet. I have not looked at the bishop e2 stuff yet. Um, bishop b7. I'm going to play knight e7. I, really, I just don't know what I'm doing here in these structures, honestly, but... Yeah, f6 is a classic idea. I don't know what that was about. Yeah, I think he made a mistake, because this is the normal setup here, right? Knight e7, bishop on c5, pawn on f6. It's a really wacky position here. The, the main reason I chose to play these positions is because I just remember playing against them as white and having no idea what the hell is going on. Not a clue in the world what's going on. Alright, I'm just going to play knight e7. I could play d5. You know what, I'll confu let's confuse him even more. I'm just going to castle queenside now. We're playing d5. We're playing for a really quick d5. If h6, I play g5. What country is this? Algeria? Alright, I'm guessing everything. Bishop f3. We play e5 and d5. I play Let me play g5 here. Why not? Why not play g5 and just continue to muddy the waters? This position isn't wacky enough. Let's get let's get g5 in there. Queen b6 would be interesting. E5, e5. I play queen b6. Okay, he's going there. Knight c6, knight e5. Alright. Here we go. Knight is, com knight is coming to e5. I've got a good position. Perhaps this guy is just bad at blitz. That could also be the case. Because honestly, like I know he's a great player. I've seen his, his real fide is very high. Um, but this... This is quite a good position. This is a delicious position. Put the king. Where should I put the king? What should I? What is the? What are these positions? What are these positions here? Okay, I'm gonna play king b8. A4 takes. If knight takes, I take. No, I'm never gonna take. I'm gonna play queen. Okay, actually, I might be losing here. I need to be very careful. Yeah, I think I am losing honestly. Queen d6. Yeah, something something has gone terribly wrong here. I'm gonna play rook c8. He can chomp everything. I'm gonna play rook c6. Yeah, things are not going well here. Things are not going well. <laughs> rook c7. I really don't want to end on a loss, but I guess I, I might have to. It serves me right for accepting the rematch of this guy. B5 would be very uncomfortable. I play queen c5, though I'm... If, if we trade queens, I have some hope. The knight is really superb on... on e5 here. Yeah, somehow or another I'm surviving. It's a really bad position, but... You know, his time is ticking. No obvious wins. You know what? For the hell of it, let's offer a spike draw. Complete spike draw. I'm gonna get. He's gonna block me after that. It's very disrespectful, but 
I've been missing the spite draw. Queen a4, and I play rook b7. Everything is uh, holding on. Things are still holding on here. Queen e8. No, queen e8 shouldn't do anything. He's playing rook a8 next. I can't take on c2, though. Rook a8 is going to be such a problem. Oh, rook b8. The queen is trapped. Guys, the queen is trapped. Oh, I got insanely lucky. <laughs> the queen is trapped. <laughs> ah, that silly queen. That queen is trapped. Let's play rook b6. Ooh, rook a7. Rook a7 would have been a huge problem. I really need to be careful here. Queen c2, I, I got the pin. Okay. No, I still need to, like, play soup, play very well here. Um... Alright, I'll take a draw. I was completely lost, so a draw isn't the end of the world. Um, good games to this guy. I think we're definitely running above two hours now. Yeah, two hours, two minutes. I'm sure my editor will truncate this to a, a relatively shorter form, but thanks for joining me for the two hours. If you made it this long, let me know in the comments. You're a real G. And uh, yeah, I'll see you for the next one. We ended up getting, what, 33 points. So not a bad day. Not a bad day at the end of the day. Um, I definitely gotta, I gotta finish that time in off book. I gotta study these darn Dutch sidelines, this queen d3 nonsense, this bishop g5 nonsense. I already studied them a bit, but people just are playing it all the time. Also, the knight c3 line is really popular. So, yeah, I will work on that. Next week, I'll come back, hopefully, with a lot more strength and vigor, and let's see what happens.